Chad, say hi. This is a smaller upcoming streamer named Ludwig. Hey, what's up with that joke every time I come on here? A little wassail no for the fans. There's got to be, right? Yeah. Oh, none. <laughs> There's got to be alcohol in this. What's up? You're, you're you? becoming like a human uh, mime or something. Like all of your, yeah. He's incapable of having a conversation without turning into like a GIF. <laughs> Chad, welcome to another episode of Advice Trioc with Lud and Atrioc solving all of your problems in a cozy new therapist's office you got here. Ancient Romans used to chin chin every single time. That way, a little of their drink would splash in the other's drink. In case it was poisoned, they would both die. John says, hey guys, I recently just met a guy who has the same name as me. Uh, it turns out that he's gay like me and kind of cute. I've been really hesitant to pursue anything because we have the same name and that would seem kind of weird. Uh, if you were had the hot, uh -huh. or let's say a lady. <laughs> Ludwig. Yeah. Whew. I don't think it matters at, you know what? It'll suck. You'll have the most annoying conversation if you end up dating with everybody you meet oh, the same, and the they'll same be like, joke Oh my time. God. <laughs> Wait, did you guys know this? Ludwig and Ludwig. <laughs> do, you, do you say Ludwig squared? <laughs> It'll be fun for your friends though. But no one will, the, the person wouldn't care. I think well, they have the same problem as you. They yeah. Care. Uh, you know, what's fucked up is there's this famous YouTuber, Charles Trippy. Yeah. And he was dating this girl. I forget her name. Something like Lexi. They're married. Huge YouTubers together. Like a married couple YouTuber. They're both big. They have the same channel. Oh, okay. Al her name is Allie. Okay. They're like top 10 YouTubers. They split. He gets a girlfriend six months later, also named Allie. <laughs> to keep the channel? <laughs> he went looking for Allie's so the transition would be easier. <laughs> That's a man after his bag. Yeah. <laughs> Dear Brandy Man, mm. I'm a senior in high school and I've lived in Minnesota my whole life. I love the comfort of home. But my three best friends and I recently received the opportunity to move to LA and pursue pop music. And this is a fun, this is this is obviously a joke. And pursue pop music stardom. It seems like LA is all about parties and girls. Is that tr is it true that in order to make it big time, we need hard work, dedication, and the support hard of one work, another? Dedication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Thank you, fucking Zoomers. <laughs> Uh, I remember when I was uh, at AZ, it was all about esports, and this guy who I don't name was my roommate, and he said, "You will literally never make it in esports." And it's because I didn't do the dishes once, dude. <laughs> I didn't do the dishes once. What? Thing. Yeah, and he, he like he blew up. He at you? blew up our friendship. <laughs> Are you guys stopping friends after this? We stopped being friends. <laughs> that guy's name? <laughs> I can't Stance. say. It. <laughs> yeah, that was Nathan Stans. I'm hella. I had the same it. thing when I was streaming. I had a close friend of mine say, "You will never make it You're to any so amount of success. Fun. You are capped where you are." <laughs> Quit streaming, 2K's okay. your limit. Was it 2K? 2K said? viewers That's is your crazy. limit. Weird. And I said to this guy, mm -hmm. watch. <laughs> I won't say wow. who his name is, but he's been watching. <laughs> he has a watchful eye over what I'm doing. I will say, uh, Mr. Mm. Beast, though, yeah, when he started, way. it was like him, I, I forget, like a few other people, right? And they grinded YouTube and they entered daily calls. They would like post videos, they would research stuff, then they would enter a call every day to talk about what they learned, how it worked, and how it worked what succeeded, what didn't. And slowly by slowly, everybody else started falling off. The only person left was Mr. Beast at the end of it. Yeah, he's got the grind set for sure. I mean, you hear those stories about any, like you look at Wayne Gretzky's childhood, or he was on the ice at two years old, he did more extra stuff. It's me. He had personal, that's not you at all. That's me, baby. <laughs> I think is it's like well you do put in more work than others. It's because the bar is so low. It's not because you bro. are a hard worker. It's because the bar is underground, bro. and you're like a worm on the ground. <laughs> you see me nobody after works on with Twitch me for the past couple yeah, days. Yeah. You get to see an inside of my life. Tell me when I get the hour off. What, <laughs> when do you get the hour on? This is perfect for you because you're a man child. Scared about growing up from I am. No leaks. And I have literally no plan for the future. Everything's going so fast and I'm scared for the future. I have a few hobbies and stuff, but nothing's really fulfilling to me. I'm just going to ask, does it all work out and does it get better? Much love from I for Gore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not for you. The way you signed that no, out? No, yeah. Shot, you were bro. good until the for Gore. Your peak yeah. is maybe getting a thousand likes on a TikTok but. comment. I do want to say, if you haven't figured your life out by 21, it is over. Yeah, I mapped it out. It was 19 years old. Yeah. I said Twitch streamer, YouTuber, mm -hmm. Washed up, mm -hmm. come, come back, back subathon, coke session, year long <laughs> subathon, yeah. 
So it's like, I already know all this. Ugh. I think part of it, though, is they want, they know the answer and want to be told that it's okay. And you know what? I'm going to be the tough love. There's probably a middle ground. The easy answer is for me to tell you, just do nothing. It'll be cool. <laughs> That's fine. You should, if you have hobbies you're interested in, keep pursuing them. Try to go maybe next level on it. Uh, yeah, man. End of the day, you're fucked. Hope this helps. A lot yeah. of love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to study piano. And I do have a few decent choices of college, but I have no idea how to choose between them. <laughs> yeah, price should be a big factor. If not, yeah. flipping a coin usually works. There's no losing, so it's not like you can ever regret picking your choice. What you should regret is going in for piano. Yeah, don't don't take a big, don't Sheesh. take a lot of debt for piano, bro. Thirty k a year, dude. Yeah, I had a. It's actually depressing. I had a like a elementary school arts teacher, like um, music teacher. In every single class, she would say, when you guys get rich, come back and get me a grand piano. Because she was like a professionally trained pianist who'd become like a person teaching kids. Yeah. And I think about her all the time. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure she's dead. <laughs> Never got the grand piano. She is alive and well looking at your YouTube scowling. <laughs> but I only basically talk with my friend group of like eight people every now or then. First of all, humble brag. Yeah. Uh, with a bigger friend group of around 30 people. I know I'm not the worst person with this problem. Clearly not. You have 38 friends <laughs> yeah, in high shit, school. Dude. But I'm sure other people in chat are suffering from something similar. <laughs> so, <laughs> so from success. Big A, I'm fucking two women at once. I'm sure other people in chat relate. aren't having a lot of puss in their life. But what do I do with only the two honeys? So my question to you would be, how do I become more sociable and develop closer relations with more people? Uh, let you watch One Piece again. So that's your first problem. <laughs> You're he, a big Ludwig in One Piece He said the phrase fan. animation in yeah. Wano is yeah. actually so good. <laughs> That's why the hoes are ignoring yeah. you, Eric. Start as a humble brag. I will say there is sort of the problem you can have of having like a lot of loose friends and no goose friends. High school. How many people do you talk to still? Six. I talk to eight. Yeah. So you have our number. Those are your boys. Those are your road dogs. Yeah. You want 30 people that every month you're going to have to contact in some fact. You're going to have hey, a daily Happy letter. birthday. How's it yeah. going? How's the wife as a kid it's gonna be some shit happening sorry to hear about your cat yeah. and an ulcer <laughs> that sucks i would say get deeper and i would also say the way to do that is to just do some fucking nice stuff for your friends mm -hmm. let's just say the nicest things i've done for you go oh man right off the bat um top five <sighs> dude <laughs> let's hit it with him let's go let's go hey okay. one, number one two three uh, let's uh, go uh. Whew, never man. forget it and you can't i'll remember that um never forget it yeah you'll never let it go you said nice or you said like maybe like a like Con oh you know what um dude yesterday i was uh -huh. like um uh -huh. i'm thirsty where's the water and you were like fridge and i went i went over there and i filled it right up because you didn't know where it was i didn't know where it was and then you just Hey. hey, and that's top, and that's why, top dude. Top five started, man. And that's why. Oh, it's yeah. probably more. Oh, um, <laughs> I mean that was a big one though. I'll say the nicest yeah, thing you've done for me. I right, lay it on me. I have a terrible hairline next to me. <laughs> Makes me look great. They sent me a one thousand episode kit. Did you sell a sponsor on my? No, it's not a sponsor. Show? It was just free, but I want to flex on Eric. Right. Oh, did you get sent this pussy? Just, okay. <laughs> it just feels like. Watch the thousandth episode of One Piece. It comes out November sixteenth. <laughs> oh shit! Just, I didn't get a cut, so it feels she like you used my. The Jolly Roger flies. <laughs> Speak not. She flies. I can't. I don't know enough about it. <laughs> shut up, you cringe lord. Shut up, see. Uh, I'm at a point in my life when I don't really know what to do. I'm close to getting my AA. I don't know what that is. Associates agree. Associates. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I don't know whether to go for my bachelor to try to make a career in esports, specifically shoutcasting live events, league events. Okay, we'll get to the end, but then I have to. I got one word for it, and you tell me if you have the same word. Three, two, one. Cringe! cringe. Wow, you're 75. Don't say cringe. <laughs> uh, bro, you're so late to the party. League's not Dublin. <laughs> league's, league's in the nursing home. <laughs> it's doing, you know, it's alive, it's kicking. Yeah, even uh, Melee still hits up Bobby Scar, who hasn't watched since 2016 to do the big events. Yeah. League's got its story. It's got its casters. There's no way you're making a name mm. and popping up to the top. That's mm. just...
that's just the cold hard truth of her. Mm. Yeah, you can do it as a hobby. A lot of casters do it part time because it's not that much effort. I have a baby rule though. What's that? Do you know how there's like single mothers who are young and they have to like do everything that like normal adults have to do and then also take care of a kid? Yeah. So like put as much time into your hobby as a single mother does into their baby mm -hmm. and then try to be as successful as possible as you can working on your baby. I like it. But for this quit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, basketball problem. We both know the ball. Yeah, I know that. We ball. know how to ball. We pass the rock we around. Ba we ball out. He's threes. I like the basketball and the ball. What do you think? I'm more of a, a ball guy mm -hmm. through and through. Different. I like the paint. Different. You see, my group of friends are very good at basketball. I, however, am average at best. You can relate to this because me and Nick hoop and you. Uh, trials are soon, and I'm trying to use my marketing skills I picked up while watching H Rock to engrave my name in the coach's head. So I can be at least a bench player. <laughs> Just on the court, like, damn, you see Zach out there draining threes? Aren't you? Yeah. Zach's hot. He's got a hot shot. <laughs> Is that Zach Who's out that there? Who's that Zach guy? He's a hustle? <laughs> you know what? I, there's something said about being memorable. Because the coach can only remember four names every year. And if you're one of those, he'll put you on the team for convenience. Mm -hmm. I did only get into high school varsity soccer because I was dropping low W's. And one day, like halfway through the season, the coach pulled me over and he was like, Ludwig, you are one of the most valuable members on the team. Do you know that? To this point, I'd not seen the field. <laughs> <laughs> We'd played like five games. I've been on the bench the entire time. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you bring a lot of morale to morale the, team. the team. It can work. And that was it. It can work. You could be me. Zero skill, only talking your way onto the field. Then he says, hello, HRock and Lubbock. I've been having trouble getting someone to notice me. I'm an aspiring YouTuber. Notice me, senpai. And I, he wrote that next. <laughs> that was a tick. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed about that. Like a half real story. I just realized we actually went to the bank. We were talking to that guy trying to get the, the papers signed for the thing we were doing with stands. Yeah. And you kept dropping stupid <laughs> fucking jokes. Like, we're allowed to just be silent. Like, the guy's just filling out paper, and you're like, so... What's with your trash can? <laughs> like you just kept dropping. Like you I have a last night. problem. I did it last night because we were at a restaurant and they kept going, yeah. "Hey, this and there's like a big smoke jar." They're like, "Do you want to film oh this?" Because <laughs> it was a really cool spectacle, and I would, I just kept being like, "No, we're <laughs> off the grid, man. Yeah. I do not." No, like seriously, that. it would be like it would be like they uh, they have a special drink that was like smoking or something. Okay, so they're like, "Hey, do you want to take a picture before we serve it to you?" And then every time, multiple times, he's like, he'd look around at all of us in the eyes and goes. No, none of us like content. <laughs> and you get it? I'm a Why am I Steve-O? Because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> none of us like content, dude. <laughs> a little over three months, I got really tired of losing to my friends in Smash Ultimate. I decided, <laughs> I decided to just grind the game until I got better than them. And eventually, after three months and over 200 hours, I became almost mediocre at the game. I could be, beat most of them. However, when I started my journey to get better, I came to love the game. Oof. I don't want to play the game in a serious competitive fashion because I have a life. <laughs> yeah, man. Are you looking down on people that play a little bit better you than you? You play 200 hours you in You put 200 months. hours in, but everyone else that's you better than you is. You don't have a life. life. <laughs> that is the <laughs> You got zero hoes, Jimmy. Here. I'm going to give you two paths here because this is a dangerous road you're going down uh, when you become the grinder of your friend group because yeah. I've done this my whole life. You hate losing, so you grind, and then you get better than them, and then they. what usually happens is they don't play with you anymore. <laughs> So your only option is to keep grinding to be actually good so you can play with real people. <laughs> or or you just fucking lost all your friends to play with you and you're bad. <laughs> like, Yeah, I think there's two paths. Yeah. One, stop now. Just have fun. Yeah. Two, be, fall in love with Smash. Yeah, those are your routes. Which are great routes. <laughs> okay, Trevor. Uh, my dream girl has a boyfriend <laughs> and her parents hate me. Uh, but I can't get over her. I thought about trying to catfish her boyfriend but I don't know if it's a good idea. He wrote it as a haiku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's that's a great idea. I was going to say, yeah. That's, a like, really that's actually good a really idea. good idea. You catfish the boyfriend, yeah. get him to cheat on the Quote girlfriend. Cheat. You send her the DMs. You, you go, this cheat. is my friend Veronica. Mm -hmm. But I would just tell her. I catfish your boyfriend. He's a cheat. And she goes, oh, it's so smart. No, because then she'd be like, you're fucking weirder for that. You have to be like, my friend Veronica. My ex Veronica. Oh. <laughs> Cause like you've Cause, dated before, yeah. you've been around, and like you're too good for her. Like, yeah, I, I dumped, broke up with I her. I dumped this girl, and she still messages me. Yeah. She told me that she and this girl wants your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, this girl's good enough for your boyfriend, <laughs> but I'm too good for her. Uh, yeah, great, 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 great plan. 
Change S- nothing. Typical Sigma Atriox psychopath. Sigma viewer came from blood with crept his mind. I'm trying to save him. Leading multiple lives. Hey, Atriox, I'm a huge fan. I'm around your age, 27. So true. And I'm super impressed by your ability to be full-time in video while streaming and cracking jokes and having healthy relations with friends and family. Uh, I make art with augmented reality and AI, and I'm good at it, too. Humble brag. But I struggle with aspects of my life not related to coding. What drives you to do well in all these different parts of your life? Why don't you let me tackle this one? Jump on it. Okay. He fails so <laughs> much you know what? more. Let's rain it back. No, I'm almost done. Rain it back. Fails a lot. He's really shit at like so many of the things that you think he's doing well. <laughs> I was listening in on the NVIDIA call the entire the time. Call was great. He was just talking about how the leak was actually a mogul move <laughs> and how he invented mogul Why moves. Why would I say that? And that if you're available to watch his stream tonight, Why you should hop in. That? And that was a company-wide one. <laughs> I consider it all like spinning plates, and they, some of them fall, and then you just f- switch your focus. How do I say this? Like, if you're focused on the relationship part, that's going great, and then the stream does worse, and the work does worse, and then you're like, fuck, and then you go all in on the work and the stream, and then you make those better, and the relationships go to shit, and then you go back and forth. <laughs> I, I haven't seen people do it with just a perfect balance. No, you don't have a perfect balance. But you don't, even, you don't have healthy relationships. And <laughs> you only stream, so <laughs> you make great faces, though. You know what? You make great faces. And that- <laughs> Thanks. You gotta do. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be poignant. Wait, pause. Pause and start over, and let me just really like let me hype it up here. Mm-hmm. Right, I need a line that's poignant, mm-hmm. that's crisp, mm-hmm. that's got. Not just delivery, but gravitas. Mm-hmm. Your motivation is this kid's life's on the line. Mm-hmm. Say less. What you say is going to ring. This is his senior quote. This is his vow to his future significant other. Mm-hmm. This is on his gravestone. This is the quote that follows him through his life. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Ludwig Ogren with the phrase of the day. You can do gang shit, but you can only shit in one spot. <laughs>